Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Noelle and I do unboxings, mostly lifestyle subscription boxes, but also some stationery, books, beauty, jewelry, travel, home decor, even a dash of Disney. So if you enjoy unboxings, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell so that you find out whenever I post new videos. As always, if you're already subscribed, thank you so much for being here and welcome back. I do really appreciate all of your continued support, those of you who follow me over on Instagram as well, and especially those of you who make a little time every day to watch my videos. I love hearing that I am part of some of your daily routines and I just think that's indicative of the really sweet community that we've built here in the last year and a half. So thank you again so much. Today I have my second box from Trouvai. Trouvai is a bi-monthly Canadian travel subscription and I just thought the first one that I received for review featuring Turkey was so so well done. It's also a very very reasonable price. It's $49.99 Canadian, which is about $40 US. And what's also really awesome is they do free shipping within Canada, but also to US addresses. And right now, if you use the code NOEL2 in checkout, you will receive a free gift in your first box. And she just announced the destination for the July box, and it is Provence, which I love the south of France. I've only had the opportunity to visit it once, but it was just so beautiful completely lived up to the hype and I am so excited to get to travel there through this subscription box now this box which was also sent to me for review is featuring Indonesia which I think is so cool I will admit that the only part of Indonesia that I have visited is Bali I've gone a couple of times but it is a beautiful country and the people are so welcoming and lovely and I'm really excited to see how this box is going to represent this fantastic destination I hear a little rattling going on in there. They do a combination of food items as well as lifestyle items in the box. Different things that will really represent the country or the locale. Now it did come in an outer mailer and then there was a little of information about uh, Trouvai itself. There's always six to eight authentic local items from a featured destination, a mix of delightful full-size foods, home decor, bath and body, kitchen tools, wearable accessories, and more, a postcard and a discovery booklet. And it says no clutter, cheap junk, or tacky souvenirs. And I feel like that is so important in a travel subscription. I love travel. Obviously that's kind of been put on hold for the last year and and a half but I really think that it is a fine line that these travel subscription boxes have to work between being a little bit gimmicky or a little bit touristy they really want to um, showcase the destination without like necessarily just having you know a t-shirt that has that destination printed on the front because I also think that's kind of cheating in terms of souvenirs if you haven't actually visited the country so then we have our postcard which is for Indonesia or Indonesia um, of course of course this is a Canadian subscription so we we do get a lot of the information in French as well. So in the, on the back of this beautiful postcard with these lovely rice terraces, it just says, thank you, Noelle, enjoy from Tina. So thank you again to Tina. I really do appreciate you sending this box to me. And then under all of that paperwork, we do have our lovely little sticker and just some tissue paper, which I will try not to rip too badly as I open everything up because then of course I have to take some photos for over on Instagram so you guys can see, but you never get to see it exactly how I see it when the first time we open it up. But here is our lovely informational booklet. And again, she does such a good job with this. I love this image of this beautiful temple, which is definitely a sight to see when you go. This is edition number four. Um, so it says, Segung Rawa. I can't quite read that. The script is a little bit difficult. It says, that's a warm welcome in Javanese, the most commonly spoken language in Indonesia, but it's just one of over 700 regional languages in the country. The tastes, smells, and sights of Indonesia are just as varied from the eye-popping volcanoes of Sumatra to Jakarta's mouth-watering street food. We've sourced everything in this box from local artisans and companies, and it's almost as bursting with flavors as we are with excitement to share it with you. But just look at the full color pages in here you guys like I said she does such a lovely job there is a lot of information printed in there but there's always in English and in French 
So I think this would be a great box to share with your family as well. I am really, really excited about this. So on the back, it talks about like experiences. So it talks about gamelan, which is like a kind of music. Indonesia's internationally renowned gamelan music blends tuned gongs, bamboo flutes, and spike violins into a propulsive sound unlike any other. Let's get percussive. And she even has like a QR code so you can see that. And then of course it says, uh, live your own, eat, pray, love, filmed in Ubud, Bali, and on the beaches of Parang Parang, Eat, Pray, Love brought the transformative magic of Indonesia's beaches and rice fields to the big screen, thrilling and charming audiences in an equal measure worldwide. So say what you will about Eat, Pray, Love. I actually enjoyed the movie, honestly, um, but Ubud is just as gorgeous as it looks in all of the pictures and in all of the movies, and that is actually where I stayed one of the times that I got to visit Bali. So um, they talk about the... Ketak uh, fire dance at Uluwatu Temple, which I had the opportunity to see. It's an iconic must-see of any visit to Bali. Um, and then I talk about the Lombok Elephant Conservation Park and Jodapan Village. It says any Instagram sure to blow up with snaps from Jodapan Village, where every street, wall, house, and surface is painted in a rainbow of colors and a revitalization project kickstarted by area students, which is cool. Now I haven't actually had the opportunity to visit that, so I have a reason to go back. Um, for me, Bali was all about like the culture yes all of those gorgeous rice paddies and fields but also the beaches there's definitely a scene there I wasn't like into the party scene but I did really love visiting a friend who was living there at the time and traveling um, it's just such a beautiful place and the food you guys the food in Bali is so de so delicious all right so now it says come on let's let's get started and see what we've gotten here but look how packed full this beautiful box is and you can just kind of see all of the colorful packed Packaging in there so very indicative of course of of Indonesia so there is a bonus item so Facebook group members have a chance to earn a bonus item every in every box and this month we're sending out a batik fan so if you subscribe you guys definitely get into that Facebook group so that you get the the bonus items last time I think it was actually an edible bonus which of course was delicious it says uh, this was hand painted in Bali and it's just perfect for those hot summer months um, so and then it talks about how you can find them on Facebook but Look how pretty this batik fan is, you guys. I love batik. I think it's gorgeous. But this particular pattern with this teal and the greens, like a paisley, and then we just have a simple pattern on the actual rods. Um, so pretty. Love the little loop so you could actually clip it to something with like a carabiner. But honestly, like having these foldable fans is like such a game changer, especially uh, since we are spending a lot of time in outdoor lines and like outdoor eating still and you know I'm gonna brave Disneyland here in a couple of weeks and I think a fan is a nice thing to have and there's even like a little edge of glitter at the top edge so very very nice oh, what a great uh, little bonus item in there and very um has that kind of feel to it now the one they have in the booklet is also gorgeous in a very like deep royal blue with some red patterning on it so I don't think you could go wrong honestly with that one all right, let us see what we've got. I have to like flip back. There's so much stuff in here. So this, this is so cute and perfect for me. If you know me, if you watch my channel for any amount of time, I am a crazy cat lady that doesn't have cats. I just love cats. But look at how adorable this is. It's a little wooden cat and his tail sticks up because it's a ring holder, you guys. It says, Indonesian wood carving is beloved the world over from trinkets to furniture pieces. In tribute to the Balinese cat, these hand carved and painted artisanal ring holders Holders are made by local craftsmen and individually unique. Not only do they make for a striking minimalist flourish on any dressing table, with these kitties on guard patrol, you'll never lose another ring again. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. I just have like the ring boxes for my husband's and my own uh, wedding ring sitting on our dresser, but I think I'm going to replace his with um, this little kitty ring holder, like just to give them a hint that I still want a cat. But this is so cute. I love, <laughs> I love that. You guys watch. That's going to be like my favorite item in the whole box. You'll see it like featured over on my Instagram account like 20 times. Um, ooh, cheese snacks. So it says Cal Cheese Cheese Wafer. I don't know what that is, but it looks like fake cheese and cracker goodness. So it says you wanted unique, we'll give you unique. Combining layers of crispy wafers with slightly sweetened cheddar cheese, Cal Cheese Wafers offer the best of both worlds. We suggest seeking out Cal Cheese's Indonesian TV adverts in which the calcium content is said to make kids taller. And trust us, once you tried it, you'll be hooked too. This is going to be one of those things where I'm like, why did they give us one? Like, why would you give me one of those? Because I need like 10 of them. 
here is an example of something where we got multiple instant noodles but this is not just like your basic ramen noodles you guys this is uh for me goreng which is like kind of almost like a national dish there so it says indonesia's iconic dry noodle snack replicating the taste of one of indonesia's most iconic street food snacks Indomie's Mi Goreng is a national favorite made as easy as one, two, three. Boil the noodles and then drain and toss in a blend of five seasonings, sambal chili sauce, onion infused oil, ketchup manis, which is sweet soy sauce, uh, fried shallots and chicken powder, and then top with a fried egg and chopped green onion to savor this local culinary favorite. I love noodle dishes. In fact, like my husband and I just went and got ramen the other night because we were too lazy to cook. Um, but how great, there's two, and you can like they say in the picture and in the pamphlet, you can you can fancy it up by putting an egg in there, but usually I just like the noodles. But it is more of like a dry noodle dish than a ramen, like than a soup, although I guess you could like add water to it. But looks pretty good to me. They did a really nice job here of styling it. So I don't know that mine will look that fancy. There's, It's always amazing to me when you see uh, pictures of packaged food, like the packages have no wrinkles in them. I'm like, at what point, like, were you just standing there at the end of the conveyor belt, like, and snatching that up before it got any wrinkles in transit? All right, we've got some more stuff to go. This was all rolled up in there, and this is something that I'll never be able to get out again. So it is another batik piece. This is really springy as well. It's a tablet case. It says brightly colored batik fabrics are as an important part of look a local handicraft making using traditional methods perfected in Indonesia over generations. Using melted wax, artisans draw on their selected patterns and submerge the full bolt of cloth in dye. The wax is then boiled off to reveal myriad designs. This handmade tablet case brings a, a piece of tradition to the most modern of conveniences. So this is for your iPads, your Kindles, what have you. It's nice and quilted. It is definitely um, got some cushioning to it. It has this nice simple little button like loop that's nice and then I feel like it's it's not reversible but it does have a different pattern on the inside and it does look like it's gonna fit a lot of different tablets I actually don't have a tablet right now I think I have like an old iPad mini 2 um, which I don't use very much but I used to like attach it to a keyboard but my husband has a tablet and he uses it a lot I don't know that he'll like necessarily go for this floral pattern but you know what works. Um, they show it in this gorgeous red in here in the uh, booklet, which I do actually really love red, but that blue is really pretty as well. And I think that's such a cool item because it's definitely, again, evocative of the place, but it's also something very usable and functional. And it doesn't just like say Indonesia, like all across it. All right, looks like we've got some more edible things. Ooh, this is exciting. It looks like some tea, but it's mangosteen, which you guys, is this such a cool fruit. It's very weird. It's like, it looks like an orange, like it has sections like an orange on the inside, but it's like white, a little bit slimy, but like the flavor is really, really good. So you can kind of see what it looks like in here. So we did get this uh, package of tea. Let me see, it says, um, Mustika Ruta Mangosteen Tea. Cultivated in Indonesia for centuries, mangosteen is a tropical fruit with a taste unlike any other. When brewed as a tea, it calls to mind hints of pear, peach, and lychee in an altogether unique flavor palette. This highly nutritious fruit is also known for its antioxidant properties and boosting the immune system, among other health benefits. So awesome, and that is like a good, in my mind, a very good um, description of the flavor. Pear, peach, and lychee all together. I feel like it's, I was gonna say it's kind of like lychee with a little like more, almost a citrus set taste to it. Ooh, these look good. So we got some bang bangs. So these are chocolate bites. I love getting like candies from different places. That's like one of my favorite things to do when I am actually traveling, especially when you like stop at like a gas station or something if you're driving. So we got a couple of these, which is nice. A nostalgic cocoa treat. There are certain treats capable of transporting us back to our youth and for Indonesian millennials, bang bang are intrinsically linked with memories of childhood. With a blend of four tastes in a single bar, biting through the layers of wafer biscuit, caramel, rice, crispies, and chocolate. You guys, that sounds so good. It sounds like a Kit Kat with like, caramel. It's a uniquely Indonesian delight. Bet you can't stop at just one. In this case, it's good because they gave us two. So I love, I have, I'm so curious how they do their research because it really sounds like they talk to a local or at least someone who is from there to get the different items. We've got another like kind of lifestyle piece. This looks like a piece of jewelry. So let me see if I can get into this. It's a mala necklace. So it says mala necklaces do double duty in Indonesia, both as a handmade jewelry and meditation tool. Composed of 108 beads counted during the repetition of 108 mantras in the Japa meditation, mala are often adorned with gemstone or tassel representing spiritual 
spiritual connection that can also be used as essential an essential oils diffuser to boot. Uh, I've never actually put essential oils on my tassel because I just feel like it's going to get a little gunky then. Wear it as a necklace or wrap it around your wrist as a bracelet. This is so pretty. So you, you can kind of think of these as almost like a rosary bead and then 108 is very um, symbolic in a lot of faiths. Um, but this is so pretty. I've never seen a mala necklace with this kind of like crystal and the like big knots. But this does kind of have that effect where you can make it very meditative and actually sort of like count the beads, you know, as you do your repetition of your prayer or your meditation or just your breaths even. So I think this color too is super duper pretty. So I'm really happy with that. Like I said, I probably wouldn't do like a essential oil on there, but it does actually say that it's made in Indonesia. So that's kind of cool. And these definitely, I don't usually wear like a big long bracelet as, um, you know, jewelry, but they do look really pretty when you double or like quadruple them up on your wrist as a bracelet. So very, very nice. I think that's a great item. And then we have one more thing in here. I'm actually really impressed with how much she fits into this box. And I think this is what was making all the noise. Um, a nice, uh, hefty size to mini wafer bites, crispy on the outside and creamy on the inside. And it's ube flavor, which is uh, like a purple sweet potato, which is very popular. Like sweet potato is a very popular, like sweet treat. I think my wafers may have gotten a little crushed because it feels a little bit like dust in there um, instead of these nice uh, ube filled wafers. But I'll have to see and I'll definitely take some photos for you guys on Instagram if they aren't totally pulverized but I feel like they're they're pretty crunched in there but I'm sure they'll still taste good maybe I'll just have to eat them with a spoon so it says uh Deca Ube mini wafer bites purple yam crumbly goodness crunchy on the outside and soft and creamy on the inside Ube cookies are made with sweet purple yam similar in taste to a sweet potato a favorite ingredient in Filipino desserts the purple yam is believed to have originated in Indonesia's islands uh, these Ube cookies are a cookie jar mainstay and delightful with a cup of coffee or tea rasakake dahar I, I don't know if that means like like uh, enjoy or cheers or what have you. So overall, another fantastic box. I love the uh, local snacks that they have included in the boxes I've received so far. I'm so looking forward to Provence now even more. But I also just love like the little pieces that we got from, from Indonesia, the, like the more lifestyle items. Like I said, they're not just emblazoned with Indonesia written on there, but you still kind of get that sense, that flavor. So let's see, we got our mini wafer bites that I'm hoping are not pulverized. We got a really pretty uh, batik tablet case. And then if you were in a face, the Facebook group, you also got the beautiful batik fan, which might be one of my favorite items. We got the two packets of mi goreng, the noodles. We got our adorable wooden cat ring holder. Yes, this is my favorite item for sure. We got our very, very pretty mala necklace. This may have came in different colors as well, but this is the same color that is shown in the booklet. We got our Mustika Ruta Mangosteen Tea, which you guys know I have a ton of tea, but not any mangosteen tea, so that sounds really good. We got our Cal Cheese Wafer, which again, I'm guessing I'm gonna devour and then be like, I need like 20 more of them. And we got two of our little Bang Bang Chocolate Bites. So I thought, again, fantastic box. I think this is such a great well-priced travel subscription. If you're looking for one right now, let me know in the comments below if you've had the opportunity to travel to Indonesia, if you have any memories from there, if you have any favorites in this particular box. And if you enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up and hopefully I see you all very, very soon in my next unboxing.